By the end of this video, we're going to create a serializable class for our enemies to be able to have loot tables. So enemies will have random chances of dropping different types of items at set values. Pretty cool, let's check it out. So currently in our game, we can shoot free bullets and our enemies die, but they don't drop anything for our player. So what's the point? <laughs> so if we click on our enemy and then double click on our enemy script, we can see what currently happens is we take damage and we destroy our game object. So instead, what I want to do is create a loot table which we can then pull down in our die function and we'll go around our loot table and before we're destroyed we'll spawn an item to create our loot table i'm going to create a new serializable class so if we go back to unity and in our scripts folder i'm going to right click and go create c sharp script and i'm going to call this a loot item i'm going to double click on this open it up and then above loot item and mono behavior i'm going to go square brackets system dot serializable and i'm going to delete mono behavior and i'm going to delete this start and update because we just want this to to be a serializable object that we can call and use in other places. You'll see what this does as we go through, so I won't bother explaining it now, but we're going to want a public game object and that's going to be our item prefab. So that's going to be what we're going to be spawning into our game. Then we're going to want square brackets, range from zero to a hundred. Then we're going to say public float drop chance. So we're going to have a drop chance between zero and a hundred percent. Cool. So that's all we need in here. If we go back to our enemy script now, so up in the top where we want our loot table, I'm actually going to add a header and call this loot so that in our UI, this looks nicer. And then I'm going to add a public list of our loot item. And I'm going to call this loot table. We'll set this to be a new list of loot item. Cool, now we can copy our loot table and take it down to our die function. So we want to go around our loot table. So we'll go for each loot item of loot item. In our loot table, we're gonna say if random dot range, and then pass in zero to 100 F. Now it's to be zero F, 100 F is less than or equal to our loot item dot drop chance. Then I'm gonna call a function called instantiate loot. <laughs> I couldn't think of what to call it. And I'm gonna pass in our loot item dot item prefab. So now let's create this function. We'll go void instantiate loot. We'll pass in our game object. And we'll call this loot. We'll say if loot is not null. Actually, instead of saying that, you can just say if loot to make sure it's not null. Then we'll go game object dropped loot equals instantiate loot. Position is going to be our players transform dot position comma quaternion identity. And then since we're currently randomly spawning our purple gems around anyway, so that we can see these nicely, I'm going to set our dropped loot dot get component and grab the sprite renderer then go dot color. And I'm going to set this to equal red. So when our enemy drops some loot, it's going to be red. Cool. So now back in Unity, we click on our enemy. We can now see we've got this loot table and loot section. In here, we can add some elements. And if you open these up, you can see there's a slot for item prefab and a slider for drop chance. So if I go to our prefabs folder, I can drag in a small gem into the top and then a big gem into the bottom. And I'm just going to set the drop chance of the small one to be 80 and the big one to be 20. Cool. So when it goes round R for each loop, saying that I've actually missed something. So back in our script, quickly what we've currently got is it would go around every item and drop multiple items if the chance hits what we want it to do is if it does drop a small one we want it to break out unless if you want many items to drop you can keep this loop going but for my game i'm going to have it break out so it only drops one item if it does drop an item cool so now if we press play i can attack our enemy up oh, and he dropped a gem you can see our gem is red where our other gems are normally purple and i can pick this up and it'll act just like a normal gem increasing our progress we have 80 percent chance of getting the small one if we don't get that small one we'll then have a 60% chance of getting a big one since it seemed a little low to get nothing there we go now we got a small gem coming from that guy but yeah cool all well done hopefully that was fun in our next video i'm going to add health items that drop from our enemies so that when they hit us we actually have a fighting chance <laughs> as always code files on patreon so check it out if you want to support the channel see you in the next one bye